Because I feel like when you love a mangaka, it's only fair to read all of their works before you make a judgment um, about them. So I'm gonna I'm gonna read it. See what happens. Hey y'all, welcome back to Mama Loves Manga. Let's just talk about Clamp and my Clamp collection. I have almost every single one of their works that has been published in English. The only one I'm missing is Cardcaptor Sakura, and the only reason I don't have it is I am collecting the new collector's edition. It is so beautiful. I pre-ordered the first one, and it should be here, I think, at the end of this month. I am so ready. Way before I started this channel, I've wanted to own as much clamp as I could get my hands on and it's taken me years to get to this point and I'm so excited. Unfortunately, a lot of them are um, out of print series so I've had to settle for used copies. A lot of them have been library copies so they're not all going to be in the most pristine shape but as long as I can read them, I'm so fine with that because I have faith that eventually all of these titles are going to get reprints. It's clamp. I mean, how could they not reprint everything? So I'm gonna start this video off with their professional debut, Rig Veda. I've already done a manga chat on this and I will put it I think it's gonna pop up on this side, and y'all can watch that after you watch this. Here's the cover of book one, book two, and book three. Absolutely stunning. One thing I will say about these um, Dark Horse Omnibus is that they're pretty nice. As chunky as these are, it's not really difficult to hold. It's easy to read. I love that it's, I love the floppiness of this. It doesn't feel like the spine is going to crack. Oh gosh, clamp. Their artwork, I stand. So freaking stunning. Melanated character, yes, just stunning. I find it very interesting that their next published series is so wildly different from their first. While Rig Veda was this epic, mythological fantasy tragedy, just just full of despair, <laughs> they followed up with Man of Many Faces, and this is. Hilarious. It's adorable. It's an action comedy centered around a little boy who is a thief. <laughs> That's one of the things I love about Clamp is how they can go from killing off most of their characters and making all of us cry to making us laugh so hard. This series gave me huge belly laughs. It's very short and adorable. I don't think I have a manga chat for this. If I do, I will have it pop up in the eye. If I don't, I need to do one soon. But of course, you can look at the covers and see that it is very clamp, stylized. These two women right here are Akira's mamas. Yes, he has two moms. It's not what I was hoping for, though. They're not two moms in the way that I was really hoping for. But it's fine, it's still cute. And then Clamp decided to go from comedy to another <laughs> tragic story. <laughs> Tokyo Babylon, you will cry, unless you don't have a heart. It is labeled as horror, I can see that. <laughs> Some things that happen in this series are absolutely horrifying, and it's wonderful. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at these covers. They are absolutely stunning. The spines are really nice as well. Look at that. I love this. Oh, so after the horror and sadness of Tokyo Babylon, I guess Clamp decided to cheer us all up again with Clamp School Detectives. This is a straight up comedy. I am currently reading this series and I am on volume two. It is so over the top and ridiculous. I love it. One thing I do love about these particular volumes is that they come with, I can't even do it. They came with posters. And when I first opened these, I didn't think that the posters were going to actually be in there since these are secondhand. I thought for sure that whoever used these before me would have taken out the posters. So I was 
exquisitely surprised when I opened these and saw that the posters were there. So cute. I really do feel like I got lucky with this. Here's the last one. <sighs> Adorable. Next up is Clamp School Defenders Dukleon. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is another series set in the Clamp School world. And I have not read this one yet. Anyway. <gasps> Oh my gosh, this one has, I didn't know, this one has posters too. What? I, how? I got so lucky. Let's see if there's a poster in this one. There is. Eek! Here it is. I have no idea what this particular story is about. Clamp just stays making beautiful art. Look at this. Gorgeous. Moving on. Next up is Shida Hime Seo. I believe this is a collection of short stories that revolve around a snow goddess. Probably this woman right here. Look at... Absolutely beautiful. This is a hardcover. This is what it looks like. This is how it looks without the dust jacket. It's really pretty, though I would much rather just leave the dust jacket on because I like the cover art. So let me put this back on. Maybe. Okay, the this, this struggle. The this struggle, I'm struggling. <laughs> there are some color pages at the beginning. I have not read this at all. I have not picked it up because like I said, I'm wanting to read their works in order of publication. Next up we have X or X1999 whichever one you know it by. Unfortunately, they do get a little fingerprinty because they are glossy, so my fingerprints are all over these. These were printed by Viz. All of the front covers look the same except for they just changed the color of the X, but on the back, they have actual artwork. I started reading this series a couple months ago, but I took a break because one, it is not a comedy. <laughs> it is a little hard to read. And when I say hard to read, it's just, it's very emotionally draining. There is a lot of ho horrific death. <laughs> I also know that there isn't going to be a real ending because this did get put on hiatus or it got canceled or whatever, but there is not an actual ending and people have warned me about this. They're just like, hey, you're gonna read it and you're gonna be sad and also you're going to feel unfulfilled. I feel myself growing attached to certain characters and I'm scared because I have a feeling that all of my favorite characters are going to be killed off because Clamp loves to do that to people. So next up we have Legend of Chun Hyang. This is a one-shot fantasy manga. As you can see, this is definitely a library copy, so it's not, not in the best shape, but I can still read it. I can still see that the pages are a little yellowed, but nothing that I can't deal with. Next up is Magic Knight Ray Earth. Everyone knows this story, I'm pretty sure. I feel like this series was a lot of people's introduction into Clamp. It actually wasn't mine. I will get to mine here soon, but I didn't I didn't read this until fairly recently and I absolutely loved it. It's so great and I'm so glad that I pre-ordered the box set because it's going to be so pretty. I can't wait. Next up is a very small one shot called Miyuki-chan in Wonderland. Um, it's so thin. Ooh, you skinny girl. <gasps> Ooh. Um, oh. I can show this. There's no like nipples. I just wasn't expecting this. I have a feeling I'm gonna like this one. <laughs> A lot of these I just bought because they were part of Clamp's bibliography and I could get them in English and I literally did not 
care about what the content is. I figured I would just find out as I read it and um, if it's something that is not to my taste, I'll just put it back on my shelf and just never read it again, but I'll never get rid of it because it's clamped. Next up is another very short one-shot series. This is called The One I Love. It is a library copy so it's not the best shape. This is one that if I can find a better copy of this I will absolutely replace this one. But for now as long as I can read the story I'm fine with it and the pages are surprisingly in great condition. They're still super white despite the fact that the cover is kind of beat up. So. Yeah. Next up is Magic Night Rare Earth Part 2. I have not sat down to read this one yet. Um, but yeah, it's Magic Night Rare Earth and it's gorgeous. Look at, the, look at it. I already know that I'm going to enjoy it. I've heard that it's not quite as good as the first one, but I'm sure that I'm going to love it regardless. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit. That's where Card Captor Sakura is going to be, so ignore that. Next up is Wish. This is a dark horse omnibus version. She thick. She's also very flexible. Again, I'm not worried about the spine breaking on this and that makes me very happy. I purchased and read this one very recently. I have not done a manga chat on this one yet. Next is Clover and if I'm not mistaken, this is the first time that Clover has been in print in English. The only problem with this, I'm very upset about it, but my spine cracked. Completely. Do you see this? It's fully cracked. I was so shocked when it happened. I, I wish I had recorded the look on my face because I, I heard a noise and I was like, what is that? And then the book just goes bloop. And I was like, what? I've never had a spine crack in any of my books before. So I was like, I was devastated. I have not done a manga chat on this one, so of course, be on the lookout because it will happen soon. Next up is Angelic Layer. This is another series I feel was an introduction to Clamp for a lot of people. Again, not for me. We'll get to my introduction soon. I have not read this one yet, and I'm really excited to do so because I found out that it is a prequel to Chobits, which is one of my favorites. This was collected in two omnibus versions and they're pretty nice, pretty sturdy. Again, Dark Horse, Dark Horse Omnibus, Omnibi, Omnibuses. This spine is nice and sturdy and great and I, I, so I don't know, I don't know what happened. Next up is Ski, Suki, Su, Suki, Ski. <laughs> this is one that I'm not, I'm not sure about. I bought it because again, it's clamp but I also know that this is a story about a teenage girl who has a crush on her teacher. Y'all know that I don't like high school student teacher relationships. I don't care about college teacher relationships. It doesn't sound like it's going to be a favorite of mine, but I'm willing to read it. It's the first cover, second cover, and here's the third. And in the first back cover, they're sitting on a couch and they're pretty far apart, but on the second, they've moved a little closer together. Mm-hmm. And on the third one, she's leaning her head on his shoulder. Girl! Next is Legal Drug. This is obviously an omnibus. I enjoy this. I don't have a manga chat on this one. There are a lot that I don't have a manga chat on. <laughs> this series does feature characters that you first meet in Wish. So it's very much a crossover type series. Next up is Chobits. Chobits was not the first clamp series that I picked up, but my second, and I absolutely love this series so much. I love the main character, Chi. No, I have not done a manga chat on this one. I want to reread it before I do, so I'm so that I am refreshed. I have the original Tokyo Pop version. Ooh, this one's 
really pretty. I forgot about that one. Moving on to my precious baby. Pollock was the very first clamp series I ever started collecting and reading and loving. And oh my gosh, it has such a special place in my heart. I love it so much. Yuko is a babe. So far, as I'm reading through the catalog, I'm realizing that Holic has such a special place in my heart and I don't know if it's just sentimental or what so that's why I'm reading through everything before I really decide on um, which series is my favorite but <sighs> Holic definitely is the most nostalgic for me so as you can tell when I first started collecting this I was reading the single volumes there were no omnibus versions when I first started reading this I actually had collected volumes I had actually collected up to volume 10 before I switched over to the omnibus versions and the thing is that one of the omnibus versions I believe number four um, also includes volume 10 so I decided to use my previous volume 10 for its art to decorate my manga journal and stuff like that here's volume one two three four, five, six, she's so gorgeous, seven, eight, nine, omnibus four, omnibus five, omnibus six, and omnibus seven. Next up is Tsubasa Reservoir Quan Quanical. Reservoir Chronicle that is so Reservoir Chronicle that is so hard for me to say this is another series that a lot of people are going to know very well I have actually not read this yet I have been aware of it for a long time because if you're a fan of Holic you know about Tsubasa this is going to be a summer of clamp I'm telling you that right now be prepared for all the manga chats <laughs> about clamp stories. <laughs> Their next series is titled Kobato. I don't have the first volume yet. I'm still waiting for that one to show up in the mail. I had to buy all of these secondhand. I had not even heard of this series. As long as I've known about clamp, I had never heard of Kobato. I don't know how, but I, I just hadn't. And I'm so glad that I was able to find the volumes. But here's volume two, three, four, five, and six. Unfortunately, so far, my sixth volume is in the worst shape as far as the cover goes. This was definitely a library copy. Um, I was, I was kind of sad. <laughs> Next up is Gate 7. Gate 7, unfortunately, is currently on hiatus. There are four volumes that are available now. Next up is Drug and Drop. I have already read this one. This is a continuation of Legal Drug. Sadly, all we get is these two volumes because it has been canceled or it's on hiatus or whatever. This next series is also on hiatus. Holic. Ray. Here's volume one, two, three, four. We are nearing the end of this video. I'm sure y'all are very excited. I know my throat is because it's sore from all this talking. Okay, let's keep moving. Next up is Tsugasa World Chronicle Nidai Kanai. I think I said that right, probably not. Volume one, volume two, volume tres. Last but not least, I do have Card Captor Sakura Clear Card. There is a part of me that is thinking about buying the original Card Captor in digital form so that I don't have to wait for all of the collector's editions to come out before I can read that series. But that's more than likely what I'm going to do. Anyway, here's Clear Card. I have volumes one, two, three, four, five. And I have pre-ordered volume six. I have a lot of reading to do and I'm ready for it. <laughs> In the comments, I would love to know what Clamp series you own, if you're a fan of Clamp. And if you're not a fan of Clamp, tell me why. That's all I have for this video. I'm gonna go. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.
Look at that, that's beautiful. Beautiful, I just want you to know you're my favorite girl. Hey, 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 get it. Beautiful, I just want you to know you're my favorite girl. Next up is Drug and Draw. 